All right, display tool part two. This one goes into controlling shadows and fog. This is pretty slick. So you know where the display tool is if you watch the previous tutorial. It's the glasses icon on the right-hand toolbar right there. So when you open it, you start with this. You know where hidden geometry is because you just covered that. Go down below that. And you have some things I'm not going to worry about showing you, but shadows off and shadows on is really cool because now you can drive home the idea that in your model, relative to the x-axis and the y-axis, there might actually be a sun somewhere around here shining down on your model. Right now, you don't see anything unless you've turned it on. There are no shadows, but if you turn it on, it's going to be somewhere going around this environment. Shadows on. Check it out. Now you've got all of these shadows cascading connected to objects across the environment. Now you can control where that is. Time, you can adjust the time to be any time you want. Literally, you can either grab this little um, ball slider bar and move it this way, and you're coming earlier in the morning. Really long shadows as if the sun's coming up over there and it's casting these shadows out across the environment. And the higher it goes, closer to noon to 12 p.m., your shadows get really small because it's supposed to be directly overhead, shining right down on your model. So your shadows are going to be really thin, not very long. And the closer you are to the morning or the evening times, you get longer shadows. Now this can be complicated. It can be kind of getting in the way of what you want to express in your model, in which case you can just turn them off like that. Ta -da. Or you can turn on mild shadows somewhere around noon, just to kind of show off the three dimensional quality of the thing you made. Like especially that cone right there, that's cool. That cone sitting there in the environment, it's a little tip touching the ground. And look at that, it looks so cool with a shadow stretching out from it. It's great. And you're also in time in control of not just the time of day, but the date, the month and the day of that month during the year. So you can grab this slider bar and literally set it to whatever time of the year you'd like, not just time of the day. So your longer shadows will be in the winter in the northern hemisphere and your shorter shadows will be in the summer when the sun is supposed to be closer to us directly overhead. So the closer you are to 621, that's gonna be your shortest shadow. It's pretty cool, man. This is a nice way to kind of up your game in terms of driving home the illusion of a three-dimensional environment that you're creating in. Really fun. Fog. If you turn on fog, now all of a sudden, it's hard to see some things in your environment like fog will do, but you're in control of the distance of that fog. The more you move this slider bar over, the more you can control how far away you're gonna see through that fog. The closer these are to each other, you can't really see the horizon, but you move the right hand of the slider bar over and you can start to see through to the horizon a little bit. That's cool. And the closer you go to that, you're really just driving the illusion of a mild fog. Now, fog can be used in a really cool way where you can change the background color of your fog. You can select some kind of color. Like if you wanted everything you made in a sort of green environment, like you want to set it in a photo studio and you want the backdrop to be kind of green, click green. And all of a sudden, you've got this really slick green environment surrounding and putting on display all the things you made. You can change green right down here in the slider bar, right down there. You can change that color to any color you want and go check it out with different colors. This is kind of like playing with styles in the right-hand toolbar, except you're in more control of what that style is gonna be. Purple, blue color fields, it's really slick and that's all fog. And if you wanna go back to default style, just disable fog. There you go, you're back in your default style. Ta-da! Shadows and fog. 